Hello future makers, welcome to Teacherpreneur. The simpler you say it, the more eloquent it is. This quote is exactly what you should keep in mind while making your CV for your dream teaching job. Your CV should be simple and should be able to highlight your key skills and qualifications. Imagine that you are looking for a job and you come across a job profile that exactly matches your qualifications and skills. Now you feel that you are the perfect person for this job because the roles and responsibilities suit you very well and you think you are going to rock it. But how will the employer know about this? This is exactly why you should make your CV. A good CV is your chance to leave a great impression on the interviewers. But I understand, making a CV for a teaching job is not that easy. So what? Teacher pen your hand now. In today's video, we are going to discuss all the important tips that you should keep in mind while making a CV for your dream teaching job. If you want to know the exact template of how to make a teacher CV, then you could go to my video, How to Make a Teacher CV. The link will be in the i button and in the description box below. If you've chosen to build your own CV and need some tips to make it professional, then this video is for you. Firstly, you have to make sure that your CV is very job specific. Read the description of the job thoroughly and mention all the keywords used in that description in your CV so that your chances of getting selected increase. Secondly, you have to ensure that your CV is very simple and easy to read. Use a very simple font. Use uniform text and line spacing throughout your CV. Use headings and subheadings so that everything looks very neat and organized and use a clear and a professional picture if you are using one. You could start your CV either with your personal information or with a brief introduction about yourself. You could highlight your recent teaching positions, your strong subject areas and your latest accomplishments. For example, Hi, I am Khyati. I am a Mumbai based passionate teacher. I have 3 years of experience in teaching students history and geography from class 4 to 8. Recently, I have been awarded as the best teacher in my school. Now, whenever you are writing about your educational qualifications, make sure that it is in a tabular format so that it looks more presentable. Also, you have to write your recent degree first and then in the reverse chronological order, you can mention all your other degrees. This is because your employer should know what you have done recently and what is your journey all about. For example, B.A. 2018, Mumbai University. M.A. in Political Science, 2017, Mumbai University. B.A. in Political Science, 2015, Mumbai University. So on and so forth. Now coming to your skills. Whenever you are mentioning your skills in the CV, make sure that they are job specific. For example, if the job description says that the teacher should know both English and Hindi, then you must mention bilingual as one of your skills. Also, if you are interviewing for the job role of a pre-primary teacher, then you must mention patience and compassion as they are the key skills required for that particular job. Similarly, if the role requires you to do some management work, then you must mention your organizational skills as well. A pro tip over here is to mention your soft skills and hard skills and make your CV an efficient one. Some of the soft skills are communication, creativity, critical thinking, etc. And some of the hard skills are management skills, marketing skills, leadership skills and so on. Next, we have to mention your experiences, roles and responsibilities as a teacher. Be very mindful while writing this section. Do not make it very generalized or vague. Be clear and specific. When it comes to experience, specify the time period for which you served that role, what is the name of the organization and the subjects that you taught. When it comes to roles and responsibilities, you have to make sure that you do not mention what were your duties. Instead, you should mention what were the results that you got out of you performing your own role. Do not write, I helped the students to learn more or I made great relationship with my students. Instead, you could write, I learned and implemented new techniques in my teaching method which resulted in 30% improvement in the passing percentage in their examination. Or, I created positive relationship with the students and parents resulting in efficient communication and overall development of the student. You could also write, I gave extra attention to the weak students by giving them extra lectures and loud clearing sessions resulting in their improved performance. Remember, if you are a fresher and you do not have any previous experiences, there is nothing to worry about. 
just mention all the activities that you've done during your internship or volunteer programs and you're good to go. At the end, I would only like to tell you that reread your CV before submitting so that there are no spelling or grammatical errors. Secondly, give your contact details correctly and you could also make it bold so that they can contact you quickly. And thirdly, keep your CV very professional. If you want to make your CV within few minutes, then you must visit www.teacherpreneur.in because I have a sample template for you. You could just fill in your details and it will be ready for you. If you liked today's video, do hit the like button. Comment and tell us which tip did you find the most helpful. Share this video with your teacher, friends and family and subscribe to Teacher Penny for more such videos. See you soon.